Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity with myself, Lewis. I've been brilliant. Have yourself a great day. As always, now in the last episode, we did ourselves some werewolf trials. We went and did some leveling up and whatnot, and we got pretty good at being the old werewolf. You know, we're not the highest level just yet, but we will be kind of soonish. Now, I think what we're going to do today is we're going to become a vampire as well. Now, generally, I wouldn't recommend this because it's not really that great being a werewolf and a vampire at the same time. They do have downsides, but that's fine because we're going to, uh, we're doing it for experimental purposes only. <laughs> I'm going to go with that one. It sounds good, doesn't it? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my coffin down here. It's going to be very important <laughs> that we, uh, you know, we have somewhere to rest during the daytime. And the good thing with the coffin is that when we sleep in the coffin during the day, when we're a vampire, we sleep through the day, which is pretty good. And we definitely want to be able to do that. So that's why I'm going to pop this guy down here. But if it starts becoming daytime and we need to very quickly get out the sunlight, <clears throat> then we can come down this way. So that's going to be the plan. I'm actually also going to set myself a, uh, Put it as, uh, we'll just we'll just call it the crypt for now. There we go. We'll commit that one there. Good stuff. All right. So we can come back here if it starts getting daytime. It's going to be very important because you really cannot stay out in the daylight when you just become a vampire. You can kind of stay out a little bit later on once you've leveled up a tad, but not straight away. Now, if you remember in the last episode, we made ourselves observations of an immortal. And inside here, it shows this image. And this is what we're going to be making because this is the first part of the ritual that we need to become a vampire. And to do this, we're going to need some torches and we're also going to need some string. But we're going to first go ahead and set this up. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's basically a seven by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven we'll do the same along here and then we'll come down this way and we'll pop this little one here and we're pretty much good to go no i'm joking <laughs> there's more than we need there is more so we're gonna take a quick looky see in here to see how much string i have oh, five string all right that's not gonna be enough let's head back to the base i'm pretty sure i got a load of string here yes i do oh i'm gonna want that as well good stuff all right there we go and let's head back to the witchery area Cool, cool. And we're also going to want some redstone. Cool beans. So let's find <clears throat> let's find the center. And we're going to pop down our skull, which I believe is here. Yes. And we're going to grab our string, and we're going to place our string like this. So it might look pretty similar to how it did inside that book, because it's exactly the same. So we're going to go along here. We're going to place all of this down. That's, excuse me, what? <laughs> Mr. Wolf, my newfound friend. You're going to have to go off over this way if you wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. And we'll carry on placing this down. Good stuff. And now we want to place down our redstone. We're going to do that around the skull. Cool, cool. So that should look just like it does inside the observations of an immortal. So if we go place these back inside here, because we don't need those anymore. And I'm going to take a quick drink of this. There we go. I'm like <clears throat> in the uh, New Britannia, New Britannia version, it's not inside Feed the Beast uh, yet. There's uh, incense sticks, and uh, you can use those to slowly burn brews. So you can have like a uh, warp ward that lasts for like an hour. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So uh, as soon as we get those, I'm definitely going to grab me one of those guys. But let me show you... Uh, what we've done here so we've placed the string around the edges and the torches with the skull and the redstone and you can see that is pretty much how we've done it here so it looks pretty much identical i think it's a seven by seven it, it might be a little bit larger but we'll find out in a minute when we do it so next up we're gonna need a goblet and the reason we're doing this is because we're gonna be uh we're gonna be getting a we're gonna be getting a girl <laughs> This is how you pick up girls in witchery, by the way. You have to summon them via uh, via sacrifice, which is, you know, it's pretty much the same way it is in the real world. <laughs> so let's get ourselves a uh, goblet, and uh, we'll make one of those. Good stuff. We only need one because we're only going to be using it twice, and that's going to give us that. And you're also going to need a bowline. So I've made one of these uh, originally, but you're going to want one of these. It's uh, like shears, but can harvest trap plants and cobwebs, and it's basically made of an emerald, an iron ingot and a bone, and this allows you to, uh, you, you can harvest things like cobwebs and whatnot, you can har harvest particular plants and things, but we're going to need it because we're going to harvest a, a chicken. So I'm going to grab myself, uh, not the young hooter, we're going to get 
this golden lasso right here. And I'm going to take one of my chickens from inside here. There we go. And we're going to bring him over here. And we're going to sacrifice him with my bowline. So if I grab your and I pop you on there. And then we do a little bit of that. Oh, I think my cuff. I forgot to have that in there. That's meant to be in there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's do this again. Let's do this again. We're meant to have the uh, glass goblet in the hot bar. So we'll just grab another chicken. We'll come over this way. And we'll do a little... Oh, did I just become a werewolf? That's not good. Did I become a werewolf? Oh, yeah, I'm a dog. <laughs> oh, whoops. All right, let's quickly get out of... Uh, out of werewolf form. Where's my, where's my thing? There it is. Good stuff. All right. I don't want to be a werewolf. I want to be a human. Cool, cool. Has that done it? Oh, oh, oh. Maybe, maybe I, oh, do I have no uh, control over it? I thought I could, I thought I could get out of it. Maybe, we, maybe if we become like this, that should do it. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. All right. Um, I need my armor. <laughs> We're going to have to pop this stuff inside here for now and I've also got myself if you look inside here all of this stuff because we're going to uh, we're going to be needing that also my chest plate good stuff cool cool all right so let's try this again so we're gonna come over this way we're gonna pop down our uh, our chick oh, I forgot you can't hold stuff when you're in werewolf form oh, this is such a pain in the butt uh, 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 okay all right let's uh let's do this another way let's do this Pick you up. We're going to have to do this in midget form. <laughs> it's fine, though. So we're going to pop down the chicken. We're going to slay the chick. Oh, you got away. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Stop running away from me. Okay, here we go. There we go. Good stuff. All right. So we have a glass goblet that is full. Now, with this glass goblet, we're going to pour it on top of this here skull. If it wants to let me. There we go. And look at this. We have Ellie, cool beans. A voice says, a voice sings, bring me, do, bring my daughter to the lakes of fire uh, in, in, in the never. So we're gonna grab this girl. And uh, what we're going to do now, I think, is let's start by having a sleep. I wonder if I can get down here. Ah, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Okie dokie. So we're, uh, we're a human again. We don't have to worry about that. Which is great. Means I can wear all my armor again. It's going to be extremely important for uh, what we're going to do next. So, we've got ourselves uh, Ellie inside here. And she needs to be taken to the darkest lava lakes in the Never, which is exactly where we're going to go next. And we're going to uh, we're going to slay her, which is going to be pretty fun. So, I'm going to put my glass goblin in here because we're going to need that. And we're going to head off to Zibes. Cool, cool. And let's head to the Never. We're going to go through the regular portal because I don't want to go onto the roof of the Never because we need to actually find a big old lava lake so that we can do this. And uh, if you guys didn't actually know, if you look into your uh, classic history as well, you know, I think somewhere around the 1800s there was actually a war between the uh, vampires and werewolves. And uh, some saviour came. I think she was wearing latex. And, uh, you know, she saved she saved the world for us. So you should be thankful of that. You should be very thankful of that. Pretty sure that's, uh, you know, general knowledge. It's good to you. Good stuff. All right, so let's go find ourselves a little bit of larvae. I think this will do. Let's get rid of this here, imp. And we're going to pop Ellie in the lava. Oh, I don't want to jump in the lava myself. <laughs> I need you to jump in the lava. There we go. All right, so I think now if we shift right clicker... We might need to be near her. Let's try doing it this way. Oh. oh, there we go. She did a little love heart thing. What now? Oh, are you worthy of my mistress? So I believe she's a vampire. She's the first ever vampire. And there it is. She turned into Lilith. So Lilith's going to grow. She's going to try and attack us. And she has a lot of health regen. But what we're going to do is we're going to slay her. Although I don't think we... Oh, we can hit her with that. That's good. There we go. She actually shoots like fireballs at you. It's not that hard to uh, get away from them. So we're just going to quickly kill her. Uh, we do actually have like a really strong bow. So it's not that hard to slay her. But once she has been slain, she will shrink down. You'll get this message. You are worthy this time. Do you desire magic or death? 
So we're gonna walk over. We're gonna get a little bit of uh, blood. There we go. She's got in my. She's gone in my chalice, <laughs> which is great. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to take a sip from this here chalice. Ooh, there we go. We're now a vampire. So I look on the left hand side of the screen. You can see two little drops. And those are the amount of blood that we have. So we need to keep up our blood. And as we level up, we'll be able to do better things. A cool thing that you can do as well when you're a vampire. We're probably not going to do it in today's episode. But you can actually make vampire clothes. And they're really handy because you can get some uh, really good set bonuses. If we have a look on here. Vampire skirted trousers. Two piece. Faster drinking. Three piece. Fire resistance. Uh, we also get mesmerized boost and extended fire resistance protection too. So we can actually mesmerize things. We can drink the blood of things. I don't know if we can drink the blood of this little guy. But we need to go and find ourselves a villager. Because I think that's the first task that we need to do. And when I looked into this, I realized that I actually understand now why. Yeah, so if we went out there now, we'd be in a, in a, in a spot. Of, well, there it is. <laughs> we, we stayed in it a little, uh, a little bit, a little bit too long. But we have got our uh, thing right here, so it's not that bad. So I'm just gonna break this, grab all my things, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of a sleep. And this, uh, like I was saying, this has now uh, made me realise why exactly we have these new witchery villages, because what they do is uh, they have like a mechanic built in for vampires because we need to go off and we need to feed on a villager but we want to make sure that we don't feed on him too much because if we feed on him too much he's actually going to call in the guards which is pretty bad so we don't want that to happen but i'm going to quickly take a second to sort out my inventory there we go that looks uh that looks about right cool cool so what we're going to do is we're going to head up over this way we can go out in the night you know it's not a problem cool beans and uh we have got Oh, we've got soul fray. That's fair enough. And uh, we do need to drink. So I'm going to quickly have a little looky-see inside here. And I'll uh, try and explain this to you. So, uh, uh, glass goblet. We've got all of that stuff. Pouring the blood into the skull. Mumbling about taking her legs to the lava. I uh, remember this thing. But chicken. Uh, weak mind. A doomed scholar's account. All oh, right. So I think we need the other pages. So inside the new villages. And if we have a look on our map. See if we can find a new village because we did find some before, but I can't remember where I found them. They were like off over this way. I traveled off over here to find a wolf, and somewhere around here, I found a village. But these new villages have libraries in them, and the libraries can contain pages which allow us to understand what is uh, what's Guan in a little bit more. And where's, where's this village gone? <laughs> there was literally a village around this somewhere that I did in that episode. Because we went there and it was hilarious because all the guys were sleeping. I didn't understand why they were sleeping. But now I do. Because the re... Oh, that might be one there. Yeah, the reason they were sleeping, which looks like it's right behind me, is so we can drain their blood. Very important. But if we drain more than half of their blood... Then they'll call the guards on us. And that's why they have the guard towers there now. Because we got to make very, uh, you know, we got to be careful that we don't get caught. Because, we don't, you know, we don't want to get caught while we're a vampire. And if we get too much bad attention, we can actually have the vampire hunters come after us. And they're pretty nasty guys. So you don't want to be messing, you don't want to be tangoing with those guys. But let's have a look. Let's see if this is the village that we want. You need to have guard towers and the like. Well, I think we can drink from these guys as well it's a pretty big village isn't it let's give it let's give it a try if we head down this way uh oh this is one of the new ones yeah it's got the, the c c calm down calm down calm down i'm an evil guy like you now so we want to uh you know you can look inside these and i believe we can find pages yeah a torn page so we can take these and i don't know whether we click on them or whether we mix them in with that I think we need to mix them in with the book and a crafting table, but we'll do that kind of soonish. But if we make our way over here, we're going to get rid of these spiders first. Where is it? It's on the roof, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we're right next to a, a spider tree. That would explain it. All right, we're going to head off over this way then. And let's see if we can find ourselves a villager. But I'm not sure if they need to be a sleeping villager. 
They might need to be a sleeping villager. Oh, here we go. Ha <laughs> You can see their blood. So if we have a, a sip. I need to figure out how we actually uh, do this. Uh, that, that definitely didn't do it. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually... Uh, drink, young vampire! Drink! Maybe there's like something that we need to do. I can't remember how we do this. Drink. No, that's uh, that's doing a whole lot of nothing. Uh, we might need to read from the book. All right, I'll be right back. I need to figure out how to do this because I've done this before. And then uh, hopefully we'll do a little bit of drinking. All right, I figured it out. I know how to do it. So in the bottom left, you can see that next to our sword, we have another little icon. Well, we can actually go to that icon by using our scroll wheel or by clicking one again. And this brings up drink blood. And now we can go up to these villagers and we can have a little drink. Mmm, Venath. And you can see my little blood bar on the left is filling up as I do this. Now, we do have to be careful. If we drink more than half their blood, we will actually harm the villager. And doing so will uh, bring the guards upon us, which we don't want to have. Although I don't actually think there's any guards <laughs> in this here village. But we're going to drink all of that. There we go. Your first glows stronger. And what I did earlier is I took my book and one of the pages, put it in there. And if we have a look inside here, you'll actually see that I've got a new page. It says, today, or should I say this evening, he told me of his first kill. The, f the first, that first night, he said, was overwhelming. He had to fully sate his hunger. So we done that. Now I think we can put it in here again. It'll give us like our next quest. And this is what we do. So if we go away to the end, let's have a look. Uh, yeah. So, he found he was able to transfix his victims, was now able to drink as he needed, without others realising, so long as he did not drain more than half, did so from five oblivious souls. Ah, so we now have a new thing down the bottom, if you look, we have transfix. And, uh, I guess this toggles night vision, so we can... Ooh, look. I just transfix someone. How cool is that? Let's do it again. Ooh. And uh, you can see that's actually using up my blood. And we actually have another blood little, you know, little blood blob there on the left now that we did that. So I wonder if I can, like, transfix zombies. No. All right. So I guess we can only do it to things that have the little blood icon come up. And uh, we can actually see there's someone sleeping in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bite. There we go. Very nice. And uh, we're going to transfix him. Cool, cool. Now, you can use this on other players, and I think, uh, I'm not too sure because I've never tried it, but I think it makes them, uh, you know, kind of stand still, like they're, they're powerless to your powers, which is pretty cool. I'm going to keep drinking from this guy, though. Let's have a little bite tweet. Yummy. Very nice. Let's uh, drink some of you as well. Very nice. <laughs> there we go. Your first grow stronger. Although we need to go and uh, transfix some more guys, I think. Oh my god, it's almost daytime. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, they're actually all awake now, so we could try this. Let's give it a go. Oh, I'm out of blood because I tried doing it. Okay, all right, that's fine. So let's head back. Ooh, oh, I forgot to do the wrong one. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, all right, all right, all right. It's uh, it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to this. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Uh, I need to remember to change it so that I go to the crypt, not the witchery area. But uh, you know that that's just fine. That's just fine. Here's all our things. We can take all of the things back. Let's uh, quickly sort out our inventory. There we go. Good stuff. And uh, what else do we have down there? Sword. Uh, definitely didn't have chickens. Uh, a bit of light. A little bag. Some food. And that guy. Cool beans. Okay. Alrighty then. So. Yeah. Let's uh, let's head back. Can I drink from witches? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I might be able to for a second there. Let's head back to the village. And we want to make sure that we level up all the way. So we're going to go and transfix some more guys. 
and uh, get some blood as well because we're all out of blood at the minute. So, it's a lot like being a werewolf, in which you level up and you gain new abilities. As you level up, you gain uh, a bigger blood pool. You can actually, um, I believe there's an item that you can have that extends the blood pool as well. It's like a staff that you can make, which is pretty cool. So, there's that. Uh, and, and the further up, more blood that you get, better uh, chances you are of surviving in the sunlight. I believe at max, it's about a minute and a half you could survive. So, here we go. Let's go on to... Uh, let's do this. So if we go over this way, we should be able to find some more sleeping villagers. Here we go. Going to have a little bite to eat. Very nice. And in a second, we'll try and uh, go all the way and see what happens. So these guys are still up and about. Let's try transfixing someone. Yes, I am your master. <laughs> Oh, oh, can't drink from anymore. Did he realize it's me? Yes. Quickly drink before he realizes. <laughs> yes. And we'll do it on you as well. Oh, yes, I am your master. And drink away. Oh, sorry. 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 Run away. <laughs> Run away. Uh, it was another guy in here, actually. Okay. So, uh, try and get inside here. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, we're on the wrong thing. Here we go. All right. So, we're going to try and transfix these guys as well. We'll have a, another bite to eat. Good stuff. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wake him up. And I'm going to try and transfix him again. Oh, what's going on? He's taking damage. Did I drink him too much? Sorry. Oh, he's running away. Uh, come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Look into my eyes. Come here. No, not you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, get get lost. All right, we'll try this again. Yes. <laughs> so has that done it? Like, have we... Uh, We've still only got one blob. I'm pretty sure I've transfixed, like, five guys already. Let's try you as well. Right, maybe if I, like, wake him up and do it. There we go. D did it a little bit more. Uh, I think that might be what we have to do, but I'm not too sure. He found he was able to transfix his victims, was now able to drink as he needed without others realising, so long as he did not drain more than half. Uh, maybe, actually... We need to drink from a transfixed victim. So I'm going to hit him, transfix him, and drink. Uh, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't half. There we go. All right. Uh, have we got any more guys sleeping? Uh, no, but I can, I can get him to sleep. All right, we're going to hit him. Transfix him and drink. Oh, he went back to sleep again. <laughs> well, that's a pain in the butt. Cool, cool. All right, guys. Well, we're going to leave that for today's episode, I believe. We'll do some more vampire stuff in the next episode to see how it goes. I need to remember the, to go back to, uh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to set it to the crypt all the time. Look at that. It opens up for me. Lovely. So, uh, we're going to need to remember to do that. And we're going to slowly level up as a vampire, which can be pretty cool. We've already got decent werewolf powers. We have vampire powers. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And uh, once we've done that, who knows? We'll figure out something else. <laughs> cool beans. All right, guys. I'll see you soon for another episode. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one. As always, I've got an arrow in me. <laughs> and bye-bye.